Hi, I'm Anthony Ward and welcome to this tutorial for 3D World magazine. What we're going to look at during the course of this tutorial is basically how to take a pre-made model and in this case we're going to take the one that you can see in front of you which is a futuristic space dock loader and we are going to apply a full set of UVs and then we will apply a texture to it. Now we're not going to end with a nice clean crisp shiny texture like it's just come up fresh off the production line we want to take things a bit further and make this look like it's actually been out it's been used there's been damage uh, applied to it so the paint's chipped away the corners are worn away there's dirt and debris so it just gives it a lot more character and makes it a lot more interesting to look at so all the scenes which i'm going to be working through will be downloadable through the uh, scene files so feel free to download those and follow along as I go through this. So the first scene we're looking at here and we have our model built uh, and in front of us but at the moment it's looking a bit low polygon, a bit low poly particularly the lamp here. Now this is a model which is just it's just been brought in and combined so it's just a single mesh um, so if you were modeling in a different package for example exported as an OBJ brought it in it may come in as a single mesh um, so don't worry about that just for now we can separate this off and then work on individual elements as we go but going back to the fact that it's looking a bit boxy now this is because it was modeled using subdivision surfaces so this allows you to use a low polygon proxy model which then the algorithms calculate and smooth and soften and in Maya all we need to do is press 3 press 3 works its magic and there we go so that's now nice and smooth and soft if we just lock in the attribute editor for our smooth mesh options you can find them down here here we have smooth mesh preview and that's just turning that on and off which is pretty much what we did when we pressed 3 you have your preview uh, division levels here so that is how many times this is being divided in the viewport and obviously you can drop that down to 1, 0, 2 and higher the higher it goes um, the more of a hit it's going to have on the processing power so 2 the default usually works as, uh, as a quite a good uh, default you can also disable this so on when you're coming to rendering you can have more divisions in the model when it renders so it smooths it out just an extra little bit there rather than just uh, using the preview levels there but for now we just we're just happy press 1 to drop 3 to go back to smooth mesh so you've got your smooth model in here now we need to start to think about how we're going to UV this so straight away I can see that there are quite a lot of elements which are duplicated or mirrored so the limbs for example they look like they're exactly the same it's just his left hand side have been mirrored across to create the right hand side so there's no point in us UVing two identical objects so you may as well just spend the time UVing one side and then mirror those and then if you need to move the UVs um, for the newly mirrored side so you'll still end up with two lots of UVs to work on so you can have unique textures on each side it's just you're not doing two amounts of work up front generating two lots of UVs so your first task would be to just go through strip down the model separate it and just leave you with just the main parts which you were going to focus on with the UV in. So I've already done this and you can find this in these uh, layers down here so we'll hide that loading stripped and as you can see this is a lot more uh, well it's uh, much more of a simplified model than it was before we have one post, uh, one of these uh, bars here one side of the limbs like I said, we can just mirror the limbs across when we've UV'd them. So we're not 
doubling up on our workload. So now let's just dive right in and start to apply some UVs.